Legendary Legendary Ninja Tell him What he impress I represent When me a top Legendary Ninja she the up on the telly She no need defense from nobody She done have God already And she stand firmer than a military Anywhere she walk ball She step heavy Marshal the streets them already Well it's for me When me talk about the legendary ninja She no leg, she no lab and her linger And the almighty work she a live for But violate and she ash like a ginger Welcome to legendary ninja telly you know people Wagwan people, blessings in the day here. So, you know, some go on my church this morning, Minister Marian All. So, I have a little church service from her. Thank God, Minister Marian All decided to do, you know, a preaching thing. So, when we want to hear somebody a preach, me go over there. She me listen to. So she not a pastor. I don't know if she's a minister, but me call her my pastor. Whether she did go stay in the church the other day or she did go come back a dance hall, it wouldn't matter to me because I already I've been following her for years. And I listen to her stories and I know if she if and when. She come back to dance hall. She's not going to do the same thing like she did before. I'm positive about that. Because I hear her have regrets about a lot of the music she do. And she's really needing in dance hall. But she and her sister make it up. And in a this service, she talk, oh, she and her sister make it up and all of that. It's a night. I'm glad I log on this morning. You know, and for hear the word, because it's coming like so the word what she preached this morning, like it was just just for me. Me no know if I never hear somebody a preach yet or a pre preach, right? Or a prayer. And uh, you feel like say why the word there for you. Well, I saw me feel this morning about the prayer, the parts that I catch that I got to, you know, record. So I'm going to let you listen to so people. You see, if you go in, you're out there, right? I, I say you're going through things. And I say, you know, when I got there, because me know so somebody tell me upon the phone that I say, oh, I believe in a God when so much things happen to me. Somebody actually said that to me. And I said to the person, how oh, could I not believe in God? Because me give my life enough time and get it back. So... Yeah, a lot of bad stuff happen, but me still have my life though. You know, a lot of people would have loved to have loved ones here where, where them lost, and they're just not. They would have loved to have them anywhere just to see them, but they are not. So I thank God for life. And you know, say, I have some secret prayer warrior out there where I pray for me. Me say, I have some secret prayer warrior out there praying for me. How? How could it not be? How? How could I just sit and just watch people trip over themselves? Let's not talk about that in this commentary. Today is Sunday. Let's listen to Minister Marian Al. I'm not pretty. Hey, I love you, but no matter pray pretty. Pray hard. We pray hard. We do things hard. Everything we do hard. Amen, somebody. Hallelujah. Psalm 34, verse 18 said, The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart and save it such as be of a contrite spirit. Which means feeling remorse or guilt. Ezekiel, he was given a mandate to bear the burden. So the mandate that Ezekiel had, it was to bear the burden. He was a bearer of bad news. Because there was in exile, you know what I'm saying? And God was telling them because of their sins, 
all kind, all these things were happening and what he was going to do and all kind of things. Amen. Somebody bless the name of the Lord. Welcome to Holy Ghost Pentecostal Church of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. This mandate carry weight. Pastor, sometimes I look and some, some ministers just have it easy. Yes, yes, yes. Come on. See, they're not going on then. Because I don't understand how is it that you carrying such a mantle. I relax. And everything is pretty soft. You know, no troubles, nothing, nothing happening in that church. Eh -eh. Nobody not talk about you, nobody not lying about you. Something wrong. Hey, Amen, somebody. The, uh, some, the anointing attracts devils and demons. When you have the anoint the cutting edge one, the one with chop off and go like your neck from a distance. That when you attract demons, it's like he, 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 sometimes I tell the Lord, I say, God, cover me with more blood. I need more of your blood. Be because I need to change the smell of my perfume. You know what I'm saying? My favorite perfume is a French thing, you know. But sometimes I say, God, I need to be blood me up. Blood me up. Because the devil is getting too, he, he is too, he is too attract. Come on, man. But when the blood is upon you, him see far, far away. So sometimes you have to ask God to wake me up some more with the blood. Because these devils are coming too close to me. Heaven, somebody. So he carried this burden, you know, because he had was to be praying for them, prophesying to them. And this man wasn't a lying prophet. When a prophet is going to tell you what you want to hear. When a prophet is going to go out there and get your business, get somebody who's close to you, who tell them your business. Ah, that is not a prophet. That is a prophet from the pit of hell. That is a demon. That is a witch. Amen. Somebody bless the name of the Lord. We are people. If God don't speak, we are not going to speak. Hallelujah. Glory be to the Lord. I was on the beach. I was on the beach a few days with some friends. And, you know, uh, yes, Lord. Yes. I was wearing a bar suit, but I make sure I put on a tights because, and then I put on a long pants because them people, I can't, I can't, I, 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 I have a swim in a suit. Listen, my man, if we are the people that boy, them can't trouble me, I can't have a swim in a bar suit, you know. Me have to put on some things where attack, it attract the shark, them. Amen, somebody. Yeah, because they must be, we can't put on no sexy. Amen, because they must be a man shall look, look on her, man shall look. Amen, somebody. Anyway, I was dealing with some friends, and we were, you know, we were talking. And my friend, I said to my friend, are you dating anybody? You know, because thing and thing and thing, she, 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 she's a divorcee, you know. And she said, kind of, you know, and I said, uh, is he black or white? And she said, he's black. At the same time, what dropped out of my mouth, I lined up, I, I write up in no man business that is not me, you know. I said, is he a... Uh, I was, the friend get up and run go down so. She said, you're a prophet. And I, I had my Bible out at the beach. I put the Bible on my head. Because when I do this, I'm telling the truth. I'm not about the truth. I said to my friend, girl, I knew nothing about that. I, God just speaking. I said, R-E. And I, I just tell her the man career. That is when God speaks. That's the only time we speak. Bless the name of the Lord. So this man, imagine how many times Ezekiel cried. He must have cried to the Lord because I tell you the stuff that God was telling him would happen to the people of Judah. It was, wow. But the thing is, it's because of their ways you know, all the idolatry and all those things that they, the sinful things that they were doing, you know, but imagine how many tears he must have cried to the Lord, begging for mercy concerning the children of Judah. Hallelujah. I'm here to beg for mercy, not for just me, but I want to beg for mercy for each and every one of us. You know who I want to beg for mercy for? this generation and the one to come jesus christ of nazareth oh my god what jesus said lord jesus so what we are seeing now if these are the
the children of the future, my God. We need to pray for these children because the internet turned them in idiot. Hey, when I look and see children beat up their mother because the mother took the phone. Hey, beat up the teacher because the teacher took the phone. My God of glory. What is this that we see? We are living, we are living in a time. We are the children of, oh my God. Hey. The baby know the internet more than me and you. Oh Jesus Christ, they're telling you if we copy and paste and cut on them someday. Oh Jesus, I'm here to beg for mercy for this generation and the ones to come because we are living in perilous times. We are living even though Judah was in captivity. We are here, look, we are walking about free. But our minds, our spirit, and I want to honestly tell you something. You see, the phone, the internet, I would rather you don't send nothing to me. I say, look at this, because you send me something. If it wasn't for the word, we wouldn't be able to stand right now in the presence of God because we are sinful. Just the things that we look on is sinful and it's because of the sin why the children of Israel were taken into captivity yeah people of God in order for us to see the manifestation of God the word of God in our lives we have to put faith on the word of God and let it prove God even when it seemed like God ain't doing nothing these children of captivity, they were in captivity, you know. But the Bible tells us in the word that either, you see, from the sun set you free, is you are free indeed, right? So even though we are in some situation where we just feel like something ain't right, why is it that I'm feeling my soul is so down like David? When David said, talk to him, soul him, say, why are you cast down? Why are you so we have to get a revival. We got to ask God to revive us like the dry bones. Yeah. There are dry things in us. And that is why we come to church and we sit down and we can't praise God. We can't praise God because we're worried about the rent. We're worried about the mortgage. We're worried about HOA. We're worried about the side chick. Why are you worried about the side chick and you're the main chick? My God, I worry I'm with you. I wish God you serve. If God in your life. Why is it that you're worried about the other person who the devil put in there? If that be hey, if him not belong there, she not belong there. God will take them out. Hey, Amen, somebody. Now, so, that is why you have dry prayers. You can't praise God because you're worried about your man. You can't praise God because you're worried about the, the girl who do a her body. The tan good body girl. Lord Jesus of Nazareth. But we need a revival of moving in the church. Mighty God of Daniel, you see people dancing in church and doing prayers break. But those who are practiced. Amen. God is not moving. They're moving to the music. They're not moving according to the Holy Spirit. So you're looking at things and you think it's a revival, but it's not a revival. It's not a godly revival. It's a performance. Get your life in order. You come here and say, listen, leave me alone. I've got, I got peoples. Hey, I've got peoples. I know godly people. You don't send no message to me on Facebook, boy. Make this reach Minister Hall. Make it reach you. So I thought you have one salvation. Hey, Amen, somebody. This right here. God, I want to go and continue to read, but... I don't, I don't even want to read this right now. I just want to get, let the Holy Spirit take over. Yeah? I've seen God hand in my life so many times. Even when I don't understand what's going on, I know there is a God. And I know that he already did other things for me. So he's going to do it again. Amen, somebody. I look at it. And I said, I want somebody. 
to help me again with this message because this message said if God said it so shall it be yes. when the Lord said it so shall it be it cannot be reversed no matter how dead the marriage is God is able to turn on your husband make when he look by you and say girl you're good my God of glory hey sometimes when you do that's why you don't come I'll fix it up back. Come on now, you waste too much time. <laughs> you know, never know them already. I fixed it up. <laughs> See what I mean? And there was a glass class of fire. Just like uh, uh, some of sit down there. Wanna sit down? Sometimes it's you have to go and get the hood them and put them in the fire. Because no electric, electric sitting up in there. So when the light turn off, you still can't find so who did not wash report on that day. Put three stone on the road and light up the fire yourself. Why you stop with your G-string? Because you're going to hurt. When your G-string, when you have your G-string, only yours, but see it. Why you stop wearing lapelas? You better buy back your lapel and panties and get back your house in order before side trick step up in the air. Amen, somebody. Bless the name of the Lord. Everything dry. Try your relationship. Come alive in the name of Jesus. See two wife here, talk. Let me see two wife. I whisper. Put on the husband. Let me tell you, husband, there's some La Perla parties are very expensive. Expensive water. Yes, trust me. This one and secret don't have nothing on those La Perlas. Hey, man, somebody. And you can't make your want to if you don't have no money. Tear one, you can't tear one, Yanzi. And tie your prone, you make it in a street. What would you? What's wrong with you? You have to attract your husband like why you did not attract him when you first meet him. Hey man, and you sir, what you are doing a pajama box as the wall seeing now? I'm going to show you another big, uh, the biggest way to deal with your marriage. It is in the word of God. Hallelujah. You go in the word of God and anything dead shall be risen in Jesus name. Amen somebody. You speak the word because God gave you authority to speak the word and God gave Ezekiel authority to speak the word. He spoke to the dry bones and they came alive. Amen somebody. So we bless God for the word of God because the word redirects us. Amen somebody. When your father word lift you up. When you dry it wet you up. Amen somebody. So let me tell you something. We are in the church but this is the church of the living God. There's nothing dead in here. So if you come with a dead praise you better get up out of your seat because today we're speaking to every dead king. Your dead old man. Dead wife. Dead marriage. Hey Father glory and children them who act like they're lost. Their mind is somewhere else. We speak into the minds of the children. Get out of that place. Come off the internet. Get in the world of God. Some of you, the children, moving like a now the same. But we have to speak life into these children. Amen. Somebody bless the name of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. With God said it, it shall be. People of God, it is only by faith we get to see the hand of God in our lives. In our church, in the ministry, in the relationships. Uh, maybe even right now, you're standing in that valley. Everything just dead around you. You start a business, it's not even moving. Yeah, you have dreams. But they seem like they're dead. Yes, they just won't come alive. Hey Amen, somebody. But I want to remind you of something. Yes, no matter how you pray, nothing happening. 
Maybe it's your spiritual walk with God. You, you're there and you're all right. Just like me the other day, somebody just said something to me and threw me off completely. But sometimes we have to remember, not sometimes, all the time, what God said to you and not what man said to you. Because what man said to you does not count. If God said, I called you into ministry, then that's what God said. If God said, go to that place, even though it looked like a barren land, God is able to cause that place to flourish. Amen. So it doesn't matter if God take you out of your big house and put you in some, you're not even off some, you're caught with people. God knows what he's doing. I was caught in with people. But I had was to go through for him to take me through. If you don't go through anything, oh, you expect God to take you out of something. Huh? You're not in anything. So oh God, I think we can't do nothing to you. If you're so perfect, God can't, yeah? Like some people, them so perfect. Them never do nothing yet. Them life perfect, marriage perfect, the money, everything is perfect. Yes, but I'm going to tell you something. Maybe you have given up on your home, your marriage, because it seems like everything in the relationship is dead. Maybe you're searching for love, but that seems like a dead case too. Amen? I have a friend, you know. Who for phone a ring that? You want me to ring it out? That's a kid. Vera Vida, I know you. Let me know I know you. Anyway, people of God, I have a friend. So I told this friend that, you know, he's a big woman. Because my friend, I'm a big woman. I don't play with the little picnic them right now. And I tell her, you know, about a man. And she start quarrel. Say, me say this man like me and thing and thing and she say so 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 he, 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 what you are doing you like me say what you gonna say you know, say? You know me not, but like she say so you would have married again I say in Jesus name of course <laughs> right this, this she have a husband you know and she have this husband from she was very young girl was a virgin you know. And our husband and our them live and them have them children and they ask the girl, well, lucky you, lucky you. Some of we will be king up in our own life for a And then somebody, some of we have been all God of glory. Me say, Joey, beat the drum. All right, that deserves a drum. So I was telling her, of course. And me, she ended up, I'm like, honey, please, don't let me have nothing, you know. Because God didn't design this body to be alone. Amen. Somebody, so you have to put faith in it. Because when the man of God stand there in the middle of the dry bones and him say he didn't think about himself, it was God who was speaking. So by the authority of God, the authority that was given to the man of God, he was able to speak life into the dry bones. So if life and death is in your tongue, then you, you need to use it according to the word. If your life is not prospering, so you just speak prosperity. I speak prosperity in my life. Amen, somebody. You speak it, no money. I call for the money. I thank God. I told you about the joint account that I have with Jesus. So no matter how me not no money, my manager, whenever my manager hear me say me broke him, said don't say that word. I am rich. Amen, somebody. So because of that unction that God gave him, the unction of the Holy Spirit to speak, he was able to speak and then the rumbling come. My God, when the rumbling come, 
come, you know God is preparing something big. When you hear the enemy, they start grumble and rumble. You know something is about to happen. When the battles get fierce, you know, oh my God, you're able to, God, you're doing something big, you know. I know you're doing it. So I'm telling you something. I don't know if you, what you're doing, what you're seeking God for, and it's not happening and you feel like all that is dead. But you need a spiritual awakening in your soul, in your spirit. And when your spirit is awakened, that is when you see the move of God. If your praise is just always quiet, I understand that Anna, Anna, she was, she prayed with her lips. God, read the lips. But when you shout out, the devil should hear you. Ah, from way down under. The devil should hear you giving praise for something you haven't even received yet. Hey! Am I speaking to a dead church? I'm not speaking to a dead church. This is a Holy Ghost church. This is a place where revival happens. So I want you to speak it. Turn on the mic and speak it because Johnny Guala is louder than me. In the name of Jesus, let me tell you something. Hallelujah. In Matthew chapter 18 verse 20. The Bible said where two or three are gathered together in my name. In my name, I am there in the midst of them. Hey, he also said in Matthew 18, verse 19, again, I say unto you, he said again, I say unto you that if if two, two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything hey, that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my father which is in heaven people of God if God said it nobody can go against it God said the job is yours it's yours if God said you shall be healed you shall be healed if God said you shall be delivered you shall be delivered some of you, you have people in your life that's addicted to drugs, addicted to sexual immoral things, and you, you look, don't give up on them. I have some people in my family that I have to pray for because I know that the enemy have a strong hold on them. But when you stop praying, hallelujah, Shania, please go over to that one and look. Uh, when you stop praying is, is when everything stops. Way over the other corner. Yes, bless the Lord. When you stop praying, there can't be any move of God. Because that means you give up on God. You throw in the towel. Yes. I thank God that I have a sword of fire in my house, precious. If I feel like stopping, and she start get mad in her spirit and say, the devil is a liar. My sister, the devil is a liar. I call you for preaching. God, make people make you lock down the church. It's Lord and Jesus. And when you say, I'll go. You say, you're moving out of the out of the state. When God said, you're here. Well, if you move out of that house, I'm not staying in there. I'm moving to, and I'm not going to the church. Because if God said it, that is what she's saying. If God said it, it shall be so. If God said it, no devil can override it. If God says, speak to those dry bones, it shall be done. If God said, anoint them with oil and they shall be healed, then it shall be healed. If God said, I'm a curse, them who curse you, it shall be so. If God said, I'm going to bless those who bless you, it shall be so. If God said, I'm going to bless you in the city, bless you in the fields, bless you in the coming out and you're coming in. It shall be so. If he said you're the head and not the tail, it is so. If he said that you're royal priesthood, special people, holy nation, it is so. Amen, Amen somebody. Hallelujah, glory be to God Almighty. Hey, people of God, it shall be so. He said whatsoever you bind on earth will be born in heaven. Because it shall move. If God said it, it will be so. And with that said, I speak to every dry, dry village. Wherever you are, I don't care if you're in Africa, 
if you have not seen any rain you have not experienced any rain I pray that you prepare for supernatural rain today oh God of glory we want you to send the rain oh God of glory in the name of Jesus Christ some are in some dry places oh God they haven't seen anything that looks like rain but I remember in the word of God when the prophet told Jezebel husband that there wouldn't be any rain until he you have authority to speak to anything you could speak to the stubborn mountains in your life and watch them move to the sea. Mighty God, some of us don't know. The devil, you know, attack us, you know. But when we act scared is when he can manifest in our lives. But if we turn up and say, not at all today, you know, God. God said, God, God, we now go take it today, you know. Come and know you give me authority. So God bust down a demon and light up a witch. Sometimes when you see people get mad over me, it's because of how I speak. But if me did crop up for the devil, yes. why me not crop up more for God? Yes. Eh? Yes. Hallelujah to Jesus. I know when to speak proper English, but there comes a time when some demon yes. wants to chat to you any and any oh. And you have to chat to them in a feed them more language. Blood of Jesus. Amen, somebody. So speak to the situations in your life right now. Every dry village. Right now, expect abundance of rain. Remember what I said in the word of God. I read it. I read where the prophet, after he had an encounter with Jezebel offspring them. He had an encounter with Jezebel offspring them. And there was a fierce off, a standoff. You remember him, right, Elijah? And when there was a standoff, because what? There was no rain in that place. Because he said there will not be any rain until I, I, I. That shows me that we are power. After everything took place and everything showed on upon, he then spoke to his servant. He said, you go out there and look. If you see the cloud, the servant did go out there and he said, I don't see anything. Seven times he looked and on the seventh trip that he made outside, he said, I saw something. I saw a cloud like the fist of a man. Today I want to speak I will not stop because the other day somebody tell me say me in a pulpit I speak in a tongues the enemy won't shut me up the enemy don't like when I speak I'm speaking in every language. So Satan, if you don't like it, swell up a boss. The angels of the Lord, they know what I'm saying. I'm calling for rain. And at the same time, not just that, but I'm speaking to dead things in the realm of the spirit. Hallelujah. Look like we have to start service again because somebody just come. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Come, 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 come. Hey, you're just in time. You're just in time. You're just in time because the anointing is about to break yoke. You're just in time. You're just in time. We speak into dead things. We speak into dry things. And we are saying, come alive, come alive, come alive. Come alive. Come. Oh, God. If the brain isn't functioning good, I say, come alive, come alive, come alive. Come alive, come alive, come alive. If the blood pressure is acting up, I say in the name of Jesus, stabilize, stabilize, stabilize. Stabilize in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, glory be to God. I speak to everything. Every bank account that don't have no.
no money in it. I pray to our God of glory. What we just said in bank account, them that overdraft. I speak to overdraft account right now. And I said, I pray for supernatural, supernatural deposit in the realm of the spirit. Mighty God, do it again. You did it before. You put money in our account and we don't even know where it come from. In the name of Jesus. Every bank account that is overdraft in the name of Jesus. Ayakoshata. Supernatural deposit now in the name of Jesus. Supernatural deposit in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah to Jesus. We pray, we pray, we pray. I speak to every agent of Satan to let go of our godly inheritance. Let go of our godly inheritance. Go to Satan. Satan, let go, let go, let go. Let go. The Lord rebuke you. Let go of our children. Hey, Kadoya, Kataya, Shaka. They shall not die. Hey, Kataya, Shaya. They shall not die. They shall live. Hey, Kadushia, Dayama, Koto, Shaka. Riva, Baba, Baba, Shadai. They shall not be sick in the hospital. Let go of our children. Let go, let go, let go, let go, let go, let go, let go. Let go of the husbands. Let go of the wives. Let go of the auntie and the nieces and the cousins. We pray for our family. In the name of Jesus Christ, bitterness and anger will not override them. In the name of Jesus, we shall prosper. In the name of Jesus, we shall prosper. We speak to every dry dead and protect of endurance in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Buckle, 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 buckle up. to the pit, to the pit, to the pit, to the pit, to everything that is holding on to our inheritance, everything that is holding on to our gift, so that our gift can make room for us. The Bible said that our gift shall make room for us, and it shall take us to sit among kings and queens in the name of Jesus. It is so, because the word of God is there to prove it. So in the mighty name of Jesus, I'm stepping out of my dry season. I'm stepping out of my dry season. Step out of your dry season. Walk it out in the name of Jesus. Step out of your dry season. Nothing will dry up in your life. Everything will flourish. It is going to flourish right now. In the name of Jesus. We change in the season. We change in the season. We change in the season. No more dry things. No more dead things. Be revived. Revive in the name of Jesus. Revive in the name of Jesus. May your soul be revived in the name of Jesus. Oh God of glory, everything that they plant, they bury, we will kneel on it. In the name of Jesus, we roll away the stone. We roll away the stone. We cast an earthquake in the middle of the sea. And all the battles with our names in it be broken. It doesn't matter if they go to a foreign country. And then bury, we unbind, we untie, we up. In the name of Jesus, we are loose. We are loose in the name of Jesus. This is a season. It is my season for a breakthrough. I don't know about you. You better turn it up. I said this season is a season of growth. I will grow wherever I am, wherever you are. It doesn't matter how dry the ground is. You will grow. Remember the man of God. Oh God, when there was a famine and he went with his wife into Egypt. The Bible said he sowed. He sowed in the dry season. He sowed in the dry season. And he reaped a hundredfold. We have authority to speak hey, to the dry things in our life. In the name of Jesus. There's power in the name of Jesus. I speak to every leg and foot and body. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Comment, man, on a comment. Don't be a stranger. Get me out of here. She no bad mind, she no swindler She trot straight for no folly, she no mingler A long time she had done no parting Don't no fear cause she read her the truth she a bring Legendary Ninja Telly
You don't know. <laughs> and the truth, she has spread it. You hear that?